too, though. Virginia Beach is nice, but this one here is like an hour everywhere and it's two to do it. So yeah. It's like, you kind of have to find the best spot to Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like so easy. I'm like, I hope when I grow up. Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday of the PGA Championship here with Mark Leishman. We are inside the ropes. Now, Mark, I don't want to take a lot of credit for Justin Thomas's win last year, but we did this exact same thing with him on Tuesday of last year. So this could be your good luck charm right here. Well, I'm, I'll be very happy for you to take credit on Monday morning. That would be good. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start walking. We're on the 11th hole right now, and this is kind of a real life inside the ropes because things don't always go to plan uh, when it's golf, right? Rain a lot of times gets in the way, especially this week. So how different has these first two days been than probably – how you would prepare for a major if it were good weather <laughs> yeah very different um and yesterday was quite hot so um i came out and chipped and putted hit a few balls on the range just to blow the cobwebs out and then um and then today you know with the weather being the way it was i was planning on playing nine possibly 18 holes mm -hmm. that's going back to to no holes <laughs> um i just don't like waiting around in practice rounds yeah so i thought i could be more productive coming out walking the course I'll take a lot more notice um, if I'm not waiting around and, and bored. I can actually come out with just a wedge and putter. Look where you know you want to hit it, where you don't want to hit it. Um, you just take it in more, and then um, you know after a pretty hot week last week in Akron, it's just a good chance to rest up, and um, I'll probably play 18 holes tomorrow to re-familiarize my, myself with the course. So I know you've never seen this golf course uh, before coming in this week and obviously coming on the golf course today. How different is the preparation when you've never seen a golf course and what types of things do you take more notice of today as opposed to when you're going to presumably play 18 tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, it depends on the course. Um, you know, this course, Maddie walked it yesterday. So um, this course, he said, it's pretty much all in front of you. You can mm -hmm. see where you, where you can hit it. You can see where the fairways start and finish. Um, things that I take notice of is where you want to miss it to mm -hmm. certain certain greens and certain pins. Um, what the what the rough is like, <laughs> as we speak. Um, what what the rough is like in those potential misses. Yeah. Um, so, for instance, on the eleven here, we got water on the right of the green. You wouldn't want to be over here because there's no margin for error. Water short doesn't look like left's very good. Whereas the rough doesn't look too bad on the left hand side of the fairway. So. Probably on this hole, we're going to be aiming left centre of the fairway and trying to hit straight up the green. Um, hopefully give ourselves a good birdie chance every day. You know, every time a major comes around, when those power rankings come out or you see the top picks, your name is always up there as a guy that is going to break through soon. And you have put yourself in contention in majors often, uh, especially the last couple of years. When you have those experiences, how much does that help you prepare maybe in a different way of just getting yourself up that leaderboard and then being able to handle business on Sunday? Yeah, it does. Um, you know, just the way I try and prepare for majors for Sunday. I'm not preparing for Thursday morning. Yeah. Well, I am preparing for Thursday morning, but I want to be make sure I'm fresh for, for you know, four or five, six o'clock Sunday afternoon if I'm, if I'm in that situation of fighting the tournament out. So um, I tend to take it a bit easier early in the week just mm -hmm. to make sure that my energy is still high uh, later in the week. Um, I think my first few majors, I overdid it early in the week and learned a lot from that. You know, you get to Friday afternoon and you're already tired and worn out and grumpy and, and all those things. <laughs> so uh, things that you don't want to be in majors. Uh, patience is important and if you're tired... Um, it's hard to be patient. You just, you know, as a dad, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, father of three, so he is busy when he is off the golf course yeah. as well. But, you know, a lot, 
when we talk about major championships and preparation, this is the last major of the year. We are in the peak of season. I mean, everybody is pretty worn out at this point. So how does this major feel different in the way that you prepare as opposed to maybe the first major of the year with the Masters when maybe you're still trying to get your game dialed in? You don't have to do that so much now, right? Yeah, well, this major, actually, it's the, it's the only event um – the only major, sorry, of the year that I actually play the week before because of the, mm. the WGC. Yeah. Um, Akron's such a, a great golf course, you know, Firestone, and um, I enjoy playing there. So this feels a little bit different um, to me, just to, mm. to a normal major. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just, you just get used to it, I guess. <laughs> it, it feels like a, a normal week now. I've played enough of these where um, – I try and just treat it like a normal week. I don't try and treat it any differently. You know, every golf tournament I'm trying to play well at, and Good. this is no different. What part? I think we might be getting kicked off the golf course. Yeah, Hal Tong Lee is over here. If you can spin around right now, we were trying to. Are you kicking us off the golf course? <laughs> okay, so the vans are here. So I think we're, we're going to walk off here because we're about to get wet. We can feel this rain coming down. But very quickly, one part of your game that you're really excited about that you think is going to play well here at Bell Reef. Uh, my iron play. I've been um, hitting my irons pretty well lately. Um, short game as well. I've been happy with that. But, yeah, particularly the iron play. I think I won't say that's the most important part of the game for me. I think the most important part for me is driving on the fairway. Mm -hmm and holding putts, um, but, you know, if I can drive it well, certainly the iron play is going to be very important, so that's um, that's the game plan with these two holes I've seen. All right, well, I'm a little bit worried. I just realized that we have metal clubs in the hand, the horn has sounded, we're not trying to put anyone's life in danger here, so we're sorry this is a shorter than usual Facebook Live, but this is what happens in the game of golf. Happy Tuesday from the PGA Championship. We'll be seeing you guys the rest of the week.